Good morning, good morning. Today I am gonna show you, well, me and my amazing uh, bed hair right here, are gonna show you the skincare routine. So we're gonna do the morning one now and then later tonight I'm gonna give you the, the evening one. I need coffee. Mm. Mm -hmm. She is on fire today with the hair. Okay, this is my morning skincare routine. Hang on, we need to tie this mane up. All right, I'm not gonna put on any makeup after this. I'm just gonna prep my skin because I'm gonna go for a run. So yeah, let's do it. This little guy is magic. Uh, this is a roller, I put it in the fridge. And when I wake up, I just go over my face and wake up underneath my eyes because I get puffiness and it helps with that. Going over like where that lymphatic drainage is. You can look up some great clips on YouTube actually about lymphatic drainage and the massage you can do for yourself. So, so important. Lymphatic drainage is important and it ties into so many things and thyroid especially. If I was to do the actual lymphatic part of this, it would take me about 20 minutes. <laughs> A few things about my skin. A lot of people comment all the time saying, oh my God, you have perfect skin, you have perfect skin. I don't. Look at this up close. I don't. I have acne scarring. I have exposed pores. I have bare naked nails because isolation. Don't judge me. It's bad, I know. So I still get acne underneath the skin. I've struggled for a very long time with cystic acne and it is a bitch, let me tell you. And anyone suffering with acne of any type right now, my heart goes out to you. You cannot explain to someone that hasn't struggled with it what it does to you psychologically, how it makes you walk with your shoulders crouched over just a little bit and you don't fully make eye contact with people because when you do, you feel like all they're doing is looking at your face and you're not even listening to them because you're just watching their eyes to see if they dart left or right to look at the hideous acne that you have on your face. But what I can tell you on the other side of it now is that really no one's looking and no one is shaming you for what you go through. So for me, what I discovered is after, after years of cystic acne, it would come in and out and I wouldn't know why. And I would try every antibiotic under the sun and every topical cream and every dermatologist was like, no, this will work. And none of it did. None of it did. Once these, a, a Chinese herbalist gave me something that worked and I could never find them again. I was about to go on Accutane, which I had avoided like the plague because of the side effects. And I ended up doing a food sensitivity test. And I found out that pork and peanuts are the two things that my body cannot break down. And I realized that I was having bacon every morning at craft services when on tour. I was putting peanut butter in my shakes or it was peanut butter on celery as like a little healthy snack. It was all throughout my diet. And I had tried to eliminate dairy and tried to eliminate all these things that people thought, but pork and peanuts were the two things. So the minute I stopped eating those in my diet was the minute my skin changed. It's not an allergy, it's the fact that my body can't break it down. So what happens is my body gets rid of it in other ways and it was coming out of my skin. You can see scarring. So for those that say I have perfect skin, I love you so much. Um, I've spent so much money on laser treatments and good skincare and taking care of it to try and get it to that point. So um, rant over. I hope that's, that helps someone. I hope that you relate to it. And if you do know that I'm right there with you, I'm feeling for you and I'm cheering for you to find your solution. Let's get on with it and let's move into my actual skincare routine. I'm changing products all the time. I'm always finding new things that I like. Uh, being out here in Australia, I've been trying a lot of different Australian products and I have fallen in love with an Aussie brand called MV Organic Skincare. This is not an ad. I'm not being paid to do this. This is just something I genuinely love right now. Favorite skincare right now, Gentle Cream Cleanser. I like to use this guy. This is from the MV brand that I was just talking about. I can smell the rose in there. Let's see, it has honeysuckle, vitamin E, flower extract, chamomile, geranium, olive. I mean, there's so many things in here that are just absolutely beautiful. I recommend that if you are in Australia or if you can get hold of it, she's in I mean, multiple different countries. Look it up, MV Organic Skin Care. So I take two pumps. You probably only need one. I'm sometimes excessive with these things. I let my water run on warm. I try and get the water warm. 
Turn the tap off while washing. Put it on the face. I pretty much did the same step morning and night here. Then I'm going to get my Clarisonic that I am obsessed with. I never, I never not use this. This is, this is an every time thing for me. I have found that it's a game changer. In the mornings, I like how it wakes up my skin and exfoliates. And at night, I can really feel it getting the dirt out. So I let the water run hot, run hot on it. And then I get to massaging. This cleanser doesn't foam. If you like foamy cleansers, this isn't the one for you. This is a cream cleanser. You can feel the oil in it. My skin feels incredible and soft afterwards. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse with hot water and then go cold. So you'll notice when I do it, I also go over my lips. This is a good trick. My lips are actually a little bit dry right now. Going over your lips is good. It helps bring the blood to them, but it also helps take off some of the dead skin. You can also do it with your toothbrush. Also make sure that you get there underneath your neck and everything as well. So the next step that I do is I use the Instant Revival um, Oil Blend by MV Organic Skin Care and for devitalized and sun damaged skin. Right here, I just take couple of drops of it, pat in, pat in, you can feel your skin soaking this up, I, it's, like, it's like I feel it wake my face up and that's also because of the smell of it, it is just so invigorating, it's so yummy that your skin will drink it up and you can use it sparingly and give it a few minutes and still put uh, your makeup over the top of it and it won't be oily. Now it's time for my favorite eye cream. Blume. Just, I know, I know it's expensive, but it's a game changer, honestly. You do not use much. You use just a little bit. It lasts me months, guys. Uh, you tap it. This is how I've been told to use Blume. Tap and then tap it into the skin and around. Don't drag your skin with it, you just tap. And then after that, I do the moisturizer from MV, and I just do one pump. One pump comes out with a really good amount. I'm gonna put it down uh, not only on my face, but also my neck and onto my decolletage. So we're gonna go. It smells so good. Like I can smell the rose in it and I can feel the yumminess of how it like soaks into my skin. And again, that oil has gone in now. Mm. Oh, I love things that smell good. Okay, and then because I'm about to go on a run, so I'm not gonna put any makeup on, um, but what I will do is put a, this is SPF 30 uh, by Dr. Jart, but it's also a color correcting treatment because I do have quite a bit of redness. It's a bit of a green cream, so obviously it's gonna correct uh, red, take about this much, put it in. Sunscreen is such a big deal, guys. Sunscreen should be part of your everyday um, routine. My actual sunscreen that I use for my dailies when I'm out for the day is this guy. I even I might make a video out of it, but I even make my own BB cream with this. I use this one. And I just get a some of my own foundation and I mix it 50-50 and so it spreads it out so it puts a little bit of color into this and then it's also my matching color because it's my foundation and I find that to be just as good as any of the other ridiculously expensive tinted moisturizers uh, that are out there on the shelf. And trust me, I spend good money on skincare and makeup. There's no need, but BB cream you can make it. If you want me to show you how, let me know in the comments, we'll do it together. Okay, that is my morning skincare routine. It does change quite often, but for now, those are the things that I love in the morning. I'm gonna go on my run, and then I'll probably go ahead and put some makeup on for the day for all the things that I've gotta do. I'ma see you guys back here a little bit later. A lot later, actually. I'll see you guys tonight so we can do the evening one. Bye! Okay, so this is the PM side. It's the end of the day. I do have some makeup on. It's a bit rough right now. It's been a day.
Okay, so I am going to actually use a makeup wipe to remove the, the excess makeup and some um, eye makeup remover because this is waterproof uh, mascara. So I'm gonna do that first and then we'll get into the other stuff. My um, makeup remover that I've been using is this Nivea one. It's been working really, really well. I change in and out. I obviously just find a good one that I think works for me. And then I've also been using these biodegradable um, cleansing wipes by Nivea as well. With organic aloe vera. <laughs> Waterproof mascara is the worst thing in the world. I hate it with a passion. It's so annoying and time consuming to get up. Oh, how's this for a face? There are oils that work really well too. I found that baby oil is also amazing uh, at taking off waterproof mascara. I just don't have any with me right now. Okay, stage one complete. Now it's time to wash the face. If I have heavier makeup on than this, I will normally go in with a bit of a scrub and that's when I will use St. Ives. I know it's an oldie but a goodie, it's a cheapie, it's in the supermarkets and I freaking love it. Actually, it's Lindsay Arnold that got me back hooked on this one. Uh, I was spending so much money on this um, scrub Lancer, which is also amazing by the way. Uh, but I found that I was getting just as good a results with this one um, and the rest of my skincare. So St. Ives, killing it. But today I'm not gonna use this one because I don't need to. So today I'm gonna be using MB Skincare. <laughs> Stay away from my eyes. I get up in my hairline because I find that hair, that makeup really gets, you can see it, like the buildup of the color up and under the neck. And now that I've got it in there, what I do every time, my Clarisonic, <laughs> you can see it got makeup off my face. It got those last little bits. So I rinse that off. Always make sure you clean the brush. You don't want that buildup of the dirt to stay in the bristles. Uh, and then I rinse off my face. <clears throat> First with warm water and then with cold water. I was told that it helps your pores close back up. But uh, you can tell me in the comments if that's right or not. So you'll notice when I um, scrub, I really concentrate over areas where I have problems. So the blackheads in the nose can be a problem for me. And also I still get the ones underneath the skin, the little, like they're called comedomes in here and around this area and on my chin. So I make sure that I can concentrate quite a bit with the Clarisonic. Okay, moving on now to the products and the things. So being that this is nighttime, I wanna make sure that I have a really nice eye cream. I'm feeling hydrated and there is a lot that's going into my skin. Morning and night, without fail, I never ever should stray away from this one, La Mer Eye Cream. I was told to not drag because it can potentially add to the wrinkles. So from there, I'm gonna use the Rose Plus Booster. It's this guy. And then because it's nighttime, I would normally use this morning and night, but because I've been using the other moisturizer in the morning, I've been using my La Mer only at night. This soft cream, Again, it's been a game changer for my skin. Um, I have very combination skin. I can still get acne. I can get dry on my forehead, but I can also get um, super oily here in my T-zone. It's a, a potluck, I guess you would say, each day with my skin. So again, with Lament, and I'm almost running out of it, which makes me very upset, but you don't need much of it. Make sure that you're not just doing your face, you're doing your neck and your, your decolletage as well because that's also ages and it needs just as much love and just as much care. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so again, tap it, tap it into the skin, tap, excuse me, tap, Feel it go all over. There we go. And that, that is my evening skincare routine. It's not super complicated. I don't like to make it complicated. It's basically just about making sure I get all the makeup off and I put some good things into it. Uh, it does change 
Uh, so I will probably do another one of these for you guys in like a month or two when I'm uh, using other products. Biosons is another brand that I freaking love. SkinCeuticals is another one that I love. I change things around quite a bit. So this is my routine for right now. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you want me to try or you want me to talk about because uh, again, I love this stuff and I, I love taking care of my skin and I've needed to because of all the issues that I've had with it. So share your stories down below. Thank you for tuning in to me today. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful or insightful. I hope you are staying safe and taking care of yourself. Please go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss a video upload. That shit matters. Uh, and it also gives me incentive to want to keep creating these things for you guys. So go ahead, subscribe, like it, share it around, all the things, and thank you for watching.